basically it is how letter is they call you. Okay. How they call you. Well, the are very likely to be better. And that realization makes us less afraid of people who are different from ourselves, whether they live far away or right next door in our own country, in our own neighborhood. Uh, bilingual people are less afraid in a society where many cultures are represented and present. And that makes bilingualism a pretty good vaccine against a uh, major affliction of today's Europe, which of course is the xenophobia. And in Berlin I talked about that, and my point basically is uh, it's, centered, it's centered around identity. Okay. Identity. Your linguistic social identity. Well, and it's quite easy to recognize. And then photographos, cardiologia, arithmetici, musici, aroma, <coughs> oxygono, evro, idea, aeroplano. Technological revolution. This is a huge revolution that we are part of. It's a digital mass media, CNN, Facebook, Twitter, etc. This is a revolution in linguistic terms. I'm only talking about, but in this specific case, just like the industrial revolution, it's also a revolution in what we are going to seek. And when we seek ideas, when people would like to learn their heritage languages, when universities have no longer faculties of arts, they might, there might be TAFEs or technological colleges that ironically will turn into that kind of philosophy.